All right, so this is like the third time I attempted this, so let's hope this all goes well. I'm not even going to waste any time. Let's just get into this, what this video is about. Um, over on the channel Spinebreakers, uh, Megan and Sue issued a challenge called the If You Got It, Read It Challenge 2020. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I have my list up here facing towards me so I can see them. I got my books down here. You're propped up on my shelf. Again, just temporary until I get the location in my apartment that I actually want to film and I feel comfortable and you can see my books behind me. Not my kitchen, my wall, my wooden plaque here, a sign. Okay, we're, we're, okay, we're stalling. So, anyways, uh, there is, uh, I believe, 24 challenges here. So, let's not waste any time. Let's get into this, shall we? So, the first challenge is, is that to read a book that you've had on your TBR in the past. Now, I haven't had this book uh, very long, but it's always been a book I've wanted to read ever since I read it in high school. Um, I uh, I haven't read any of these books in years so this this book here in years and i've always wanted to uh reread it and that is lord of the flies by william golding um i read this back in high school don't really remember it that well but i definitely want to reread this at some point so the next book here is to read a book you've owned the longest and I really don't know what book I've had longer than others. I kind of lost track of that over the years. So this one is a book that I know I've had ever since before I moved out of my dad's house, um, which was like three or four years ago. And uh, this was a book that me and my wife both wanted to read, and we're actually going to read it together. So this is The Shack by uh, W.M. Paul Young. W.M. Paul Young. I think it's William Paul Young, but I could be wrong. Um, I've been meaning to read this. I've seen the movie. He really enjoyed the movie, but I wanted to read the book as well. So, definitely on the list. Uh, third one is read a book that is not a typical novel. Um, <clears throat> this one, I might be cheating a little bit. Shh, don't tell nobody. Um, <laughs> Um, I, to be fair, I was planning on picking this up way before they issued the challenge, so this is not, uh, there's a couple on here that I don't have yet, but I want to read, because I read the first book in the series, and I really want to read the second one, and I don't want to read them this year, so that is the, the, to read, the, the book that I picked for the read a book that is not a typical novel is Night Shift by Stephen King, uh, it's a short story collection, so that's not a typical novel, so anyway. Um, the next one is read your longest book. Ooh, um, my wife picked this one for my January reads and I know I'm not going to get to it. So I'm going to get to it this year. And that is the stand. This thing is huge. It's like almost four, almost 440 pages. Almost. I forget. I looked at it earlier. I don't really have the time to look at it. So. Um, I'm going to put this right there. Hopefully it won't bother anybody. Um, the next one is read your shortest book. Now, like I said over here, um, I, I, I keep in mind, if I said, like I said the, the last time, that's not what I meant. And not what I meant, so. I did this three, did I mention I did this three times? The same video three times, so, anyway. Um, my shortest book is The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I've already read that one, so I really didn't want to pick that one. So, I chose the second shortest book that I have, and it just happens to be War on Christmas by Edward Lorne. Now, I have a little bit of a... I count it because I haven't really read that many books, and I just finished it, like, a week ago. And, uh... This is, a, I think it's 110 pages, 108 pages, so, so I picked uh, The War on Christmas. 
I started reading this last month and I finished it this I finished this this month, so I'm counting it. I'm gonna call that the first. It's gonna be probably the first submitted sheet, so make it into I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> um the next one is to read a sequel. I am picking Time of Contempt. Oh, I can read that. The Time of Contempt by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is the second novel in the Witcher series. Um, I have this novel, this book over here, because I'm going to be referring to this box set at least a couple more times. Um, so yeah, um, that's the Rita sequel. Rita cover by I picked Shakespeare's Rebels. I mean that artwork, man. Come on, just. Tell me you wouldn't buy this just because, I mean, that sword and with the uh, faces on it. I don't, I don't know how well you can see that. Hopefully you can see it all right. Um, that's that, sir. Anyway, um, I'm getting notifications and I'm not in the mood. Not you guys. I'm recording this on my phone and it's irritating. Um, okay, so. Um, next one is read a book you bought on a friend's recommendation. I picked up, uh, Ready Player One because uh, a friend of mine from work, or he used to work there anyway, said this was really good and I should definitely read it. And, uh, he said he never really read any books, but this was the one that he read and he really enjoyed. And he actually started reading more often after that. So, yeah, Ready Player One, um, is bought, is the... It's for the category, read a book you bought on your friend's recommendation. Um, read a book that you, the next one is read a book you have, read a book you have, read a book with your favorite color on the cover. Oh my God, why was that so hard to get out? And so I picked, um... Midnight for Charlie Bone. I've been wanting to read this for years. I've had this for a while now, and I've always wanted to read it. I started reading it, stopped for some reason, and, I mean, just look at that font. That's definitely, and I think something fell out of it, but just look at that font. It's not going to be a hard read, so I definitely want to check that one out. Um, so... The next one is read a book from your most owned genre. Now, I don't, I have a, the most, and I pretty much said the most of my favorite, of the genre I have is fantasy and I did not, and sci-fi. So I basically just picked the one that I think I have the most of. I could have more sci-fi, I don't know, but I just picked fantasy because, why not? So, I picked this up. Uh, the Blade Itself by Joe Ambercombe. Um, if you've ever read, uh, if you've ever seen, um, Holly Hart's books, I think it's called, her, her, her channel's called, she raves about this, so I definitely, I've always wanted to check this out, so, this is a pretty big book, it's like 500 pages, so, and it's really nice artwork, I have to say, and it feels, feels really nice. Feels nice. Don't get creepy. Don't get creepy in the, ch in, in the thing. Um, read a book you've had so long that you don't remember what it's about. Crap, I just had this out here. Um, I'm not going to go grab it. It's uh, The Kite Runner by... Oh, I, d I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um... Uh, um it... it you, I'll, uh, um, I'll put it in, the, I'll put all the books in the description below to let you guys know what I'm reading, so, and I'll put the author's name down there, so, there you go, um, so, um, the next one is, uh, read a book by one of your favorite authors, I don't really have a favorite author, so I just picked the one that I have the most of, and I decided to pick The Shining by Stephen King, I tried to read this last week, or this month, and just failed miserably. So yeah, that's that. Um, um, okay, I'm trying to wrap this up fast, so I don't want my thing to die. 
Um, where am I at now? Read a book by an author you never read. I picked The Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. Hearing a lot of terrible things about it, but I want to check it out for myself. I also, I, and I borrowed this from the library, if you can tell by the sticker. I also borrowed the audiobook, so I'm going to have that a reading thing. Um, read your most recently purchased book. I picked Music of the Ghost by Betty Ratner. Um, I have both of her books now, so I'm actually really happy about that. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. Read, uh, next one is read your most recently purchased book. That's a lot of words. Oh, I'm sorry. Read your most recently published book. I just said the most recently purchased. So the most recently published, I don't have any two 2019s or 2020 books, so I had to pick this one. This is the The Last Dragon Princess by Cynthia Payne. Um, definitely looking forward to re checking this out. Ever since I've seen her first video, I've always wanted to read that, so that's definitely high up on the list. Um, read your least recently published book. I picked uh, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. It's like 1818, so yeah, I tried to read this before and I couldn't do it. So I'm gonna force myself this time. I'm gonna force myself to read it. Um, read a nonfiction book. I picked Troublemaker by Leah Remini. Um, I said this in my last book. You know, basically her writing about you know her her beginnings and falling out of the Church of Scientology. So that's all I'm gonna say about it. Um, read a book that was gifted to you. Now, technically, I don't get books gifted to me, so, you know, I don't have people to, that buy me Christmas presents or anything like that. Basically, I'm the type of person that if I want a book, I go out and buy it myself. So, I'm gonna, I'm, this might be a cheat, but it is what it is. Um, where I live at. Um, I live in an apartment building and these people, if they don't want something, they'll just put it on the table in the lobby and you're free to take whatever you want. So they have the, uh, all three of these and that was, uh, Feed by Mira Grant and they had the whole, uh, I think it's called the News Flush Trilogy. They had the whole News Flush Trilogy down there. So that's going to be my read that read that was gifted to me. Uh... Read a book that you meant to read last year. I picked the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I have a better copy of this because it's kind of... So this would be my reading copy. Um, okay, I'm trying to pick it up here. Randomly choose a book on your TBR. I picked uh, Bay's End by Edward Lorne. Definitely want to read that. Um, read a book that reminds you of someone... I picked the sequel to Under a Graveyard Sky, is which is To Sail a Darkling Sea by John Ringo, mainly because uh, his 13-year-old daughter, Faith, really reminds me of my wife. Seriously, like, when I was reading it, I was picturing her face in this book because, you know, she's kind of a smart aleck, and that's basically what I was putting her as, so... There you go. Um, that's another one I have to buy. Um, so it's cheating. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, read a book that you bought because of an online book community. Now, this book I bought because of Jesse the Reader is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This is his most favorite book of all time. So I am finally going to check this out and finally get see what it all the rave is about so yeah that is that and then last is have someone choose a book from yourself from your shelf for you to read i had my wife pick and she picked uh baptism of fire by andre andre sarkowski this is the third witcher book in the series and the last is read a, a predicted five-star read. I decided to pick 
the Tower of the Tower of, Sw of Swallows, which is the fourth book in the Witcher series. So that is that. So I'm that's going to be my five star read. So, anyways, guys, that is my if you got it, read it challenge read. So let's hope I we have to. Uh, for those of you that don't know the channel, uh, 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 or the, the challenge is, basically you have all the whole year of 2020 to read all of these categories, and as you're reading them, check them off, and then at the end of the year, you can, if you want to, I'm probably not going to, but you can send your completed list to their Gmail account, and they'll do a giveaway or something at the end of the year, at on January 1st of 2021. Um, I'm not really worried about it. I'm just doing this for fun, really. So, if you guys want to jump on board, please, I'll, uh, if I remember, I'll try to leave, uh, uh, Megan and Sue's channel in the description. And, uh, if I can't, if I also remember, I'll try to write all these books down. So, anyways, guys, until next time, take care, and, uh, and happy reading. Let's hope we can, uh, get this done. Wish me luck!